Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is July the 8th, 2023. Man, I'm going to show you all why I love doing price predictions. Because Riot has finally broken out. Something that we talked about numerous times on this channel. If you guys haven't seen none of my videos about Riot, I would recommend that you go back and check it out. But now, finally, look at how long it took Riot to break into our price target area. Just take a look, look at this. It took the market this long before it finally broke out. That's one of the worst things that I don't like about doing price predicts and forecast. If I am able to nail down when price is precisely going to break out or break down, the game is over. The game will be over for people who don't understand what we know. It took the market in riot since April 20th to the beginning of July to finally break out. Now, I did an update in riot on the 21st of June. OK, and as you can tell, I have not changed my price prediction at all. So while people are coming around questioning about, OK, the market could go up, it could go down. They have no idea. But as we show you here on this particular channel is that the market always tells you what is the likely outcome where price is going to move. That's why I didn't change my price prediction. We had this price prediction in the market for riot ever since the 22nd of May. Like, come on, the 22nd of May. Here it is, July the 8th. And now we finally received the market in riot breaking out. It's ridiculous, right? But what can I say? We knew the whole time that Riot was still bullish, that Riot was still going to go higher. So this is why I like doing these price predictions. Now, not only did Riot break out, I told you that I was looking for the price and Riot to go higher, right? And I said the only problem for us in riot would be for the market to get rejected a second time at $12.75. I said, if the market gets rejected there at $12.75, don't expect Ryan to go higher, right? But you got confirmation. The market always gives you confirmation. And the confirmation, I'm going to show it to you, was right here. There we got confirmation in riot. This trading day right here, July the 3rd. Price broke above $12.75. That was your buy indicator right there for those who were just simply waiting, who was waiting for a trigger. That was it, July the 3rd. And then not only did the market give you that signal, it also confirmed that $12.75 would not be broken lower. Look at this. July the 3rd, I mean, July the 5th. What happened? Look at where the market held support. Take a look. Charts don't lie. The market in riot came, broke above 1275, tested 1275 the next trading day, July the 5th. Market closed higher. And then again, see, the market gives you opportunity to join, to participate, to buy. Because even here on July the 6th, the market still came down to $12.75 and bounced off of it. That is where buyers are now. The last two days in the market in riot confirmed that the market was buying, was buying at $12.75. Let's not make this game hard. Let's not make this game complicated. That's the proof right there. Believe the charts. Don't believe people. Don't believe what they say. Believe on what they do. This is where we can actually see what everyone is doing. That is why we got that breakout yesterday and the indicator was even popped. You guys can see it Push to go up. Boom. Right there. So we hit the target. The market is so strong and riot from yesterday that I'm not even concerned that it won't come up to what is this area here? $16. 
Look at that, that's 31%. Even if you wanted to get out right now, that's cool. You could do that. 26.82%. Boom. Simple. Right? Done. So now the idea is, are we still bullish? Short answer, yes. Riot is still bullish. But now we're going to revamp and revise this price chart because no longer are we going to focus in on $10. No, no longer are we going to focus in on this downtrend line. No, we're going to focus in on this trend. Now, this is what we're going to do, because now, as long as Riot holds this trend, guess what? Price is going to go higher. But keep $12 and 75 cents in your mind, because if the marketing right doesn't hold this trend line, it needs to hold 1275 going forward. Okay, that will be the next point that buyers will have to confirm that they're buying. First area is this trend line. Okay, now here it is on the two day chart. Now I'm still bullish into the marketing right. I'm going to put on another prediction looking for right to go up. Look at that. The last two consecutive two day price bars. What do we have? The indicators are being triggered. That tells you that this price is bullish. Puts it go up. Market is trying to move. I even like $14 next. That's a support area too. looking at this on the two day chart. Look at that on three day. Can you see that price in riot hasn't been at this level? $15 and 48 cents since April of 2022. We haven't been here since then. And the crazy part is that there's not a lot of price history, price transactions, buying and selling at that level. So I really don't think that price is going to stay here too much longer. Well, it might because looking at this now, zooming out, we got all of this other individuals who are trapped into the market and riot. Okay, so I'll take that one back. But check this out. Let's look at right on the five day chart. Very widespread. Okay. I think pretty much we need to see where price is going to go next. And looking at this over here back in 2022 price history, I'm looking around $18, $18.25 to 20. We even got a powerful indicator off the weekly time frame. Look at that. Push the gold bar again. Okay. Three. I mean, on the two weeks. Here it is on the three. Look how strong the market is in Riot. Okay. So I'm done. I'm not going to change my price prediction. We're going to anticipate that the price in Riot is still going to trend up. Okay. So back on the daily. Let's go ahead and put this on the chart again. And we're going to look for price and riot to continue to go higher. Now, 1275 is where the market ultimately needs to hold on any days that price goes down. OK, so this is the risk. This is what we're willing to say. OK, cool. If riot continues to go lower, I'm going to allow it to go lower as long as the buyers continue to hold that trend. As long as buyers continue to hold support at 1275, I'm cool with that. Okay. First target for Riot is going to be, I want to say like 1750. Yeah, we'll do 1750 on the first target. That's 12.65% there. Second target is going to be a 1920. I might just do those two targets. I can see 20 as well, but I think as the market demand and the interest and people continue to jump on board because they don't want to miss out, that the market won't hit that $20 area. I think it will be inundated with people trying to take profit. But that's it. Hopefully you guys got it. This game is not hard. It's not complicated. All you have to do is pay attention 
to what everyone else is doing. Don't listen to what they say. Don't listen to the content that they're creating if it doesn't match up with the charts. If it does, then pay attention to that person, to that individual, because they have your best interest at heart. They're not in it for themselves to get the clicks and the views and the likes. They're in it to teach you like we are. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain profitability. And as always, trade different.